it's hard to beat the look of any R8, but when you got a slammed R8 with beautiful wheels on it, I mean, it just looks 10 times the better. So we got this car up on race ramps right now because we do have to remove that uh, front bumper. So all that bumper is gonna come off so we can swap out the grill. And then we're all gonna so swap out the slats here for carbon fiber pieces. So the entire front bumper does need to come off. A quick glance here on the workbench. So you can see over here, also on the menu, we have R8 carbon fiber mirror covers. They're gonna replace the stock ones. Uh, we also have the e-brake handle he's gonna add this time as well as the shift knob. Then of course the mesh grill. So we got a lot of parts going on in the car. Um, we should be able to get to it pretty soon. This is what the mirrors look like. So we're gonna replace these mirror covers. So I'll show you how to do that as well. So we got mirror covers, we got interior trim. We're gonna put the e-brake handle on and then we're gonna start with the bumper removal. So a lot of stuff to do today. All right, let's get started. Okay, so right here, we're gonna remove the front bumper. Uh, because we're gonna swap the grill, we're gonna add the new carbon fiber grill inserts. We're gonna swap out the front grill for the, uh, the mesh grill right here that we sell. So a couple tricks, if your car R8 is lowered, you know, definitely get it up on some race ramps like you see here on the side. Um, if you need to, also turn the wheels all the way to one side. This allows you to access the bolts which we're gonna need. All the bolts are gonna be T30. There's three of them here behind the bumper. So you see one up here, one over here, and the one here at the bottom. So you got three on each side of the bumper. We're gonna to have to remove all these little plastic trim pieces, which are really easy. The plastic trim pieces are nothing more than uh, nuts. You just turn it a quarter of the way and it unlocks. We already removed the middle piece here. So we're gonna remove the plastic shroud on this side and on this side. That'll give us access to all the T30 bolts, which are inside. You can see these right here. Definitely get yourself a good quality uh, T30 wrench. And then it'll help if you have a uh, power ratchet tool like this. It'll make it a little bit easier for uh, removing. So for example, you know, this is the one we're gonna take out here in the middle. It'll save you a lot of uh, time and effort if you get yourself one of these tools. So you're gonna have a bunch of T30s underneath here that we're gonna remove. Then after these are removed, there's gonna be more underneath the plastic, which I'll show you in a second. And then we'll be able to take the bumper off, all right? And that's the mesh grill we're gonna replace with. All right, we removed the plastic trim piece and kind of lifted it up like this so you can see underneath. So underneath, there's gonna be a few more T30 bolts. There's one here. There's gonna be a couple more over here. So once we remove all these T30 bolts on the top, we remove the three on the back side of the bumper and there's one last one, which you can see at the top of the nut right here, which comes from underneath. So we're gonna go from behind the bumper here to remove it. Once those are removed, this bumper will be free and then we can start to pull it away from the, uh, the car itself. You don't need to remove the bolts for the headlights because the headlights are gonna stay on the car. So don't remove this bolt and some of the other ones related to the headlight. We're only trying to take the bumper off here. Here you can see all the bolts have been removed that are necessary to remove the bumper. We removed the bolt over here. Uh, we removed the three uh, T30 bolts, which hold up the side we showed you earlier. And then the final bolt is gonna be up here, it's hidden. So you're gonna go up here and you can see it right there. So with that bolt loose, that'll allow the bumper, you see it comes free. So now we just repeat for the other side and then we can pull the bumper off. So here we're looking at the bumper off the car. We showed you how to take all the bolts off the top uh, on both sides. There's a couple of T30 bits on the bottom, three in the middle and two on each bottom. So once those come off, the bumper slides off. To get access to the grill, uh, you're gonna need a T20. Uh, the screws look like these. Uh, we used a power driver with a T20 bit. So we're gonna remove a couple more of these screws. We removed some already. Uh, we're gonna take these two off. And then there's uh, two on the top, so we're gonna take these off. So when these are all released, uh, we can slide the bumper around and you can see the grill just come off. So that's how we remove the grill. Right, did I miss a screw? Oh, I missed one. Okay, so there's one more here. Right. So with all the screws off, you can see the grill just slides right out. So we're gonna remove this grill and we're gonna replace it with the, uh, the black mesh grill, which is sitting on the car right now. So set this thing aside. We don't wanna scratch it. And then with the opening, you can see here, everything's pretty much ready to go. We're gonna use the same screws as before. 
Uh, we're going to install the, uh, the mesh grill, which is sitting up here. So our grills are all hand tested, uh, guaranteed to fit perfectly. So uh, we're going to line it up here with the original grill in the bumper. Make sure all the tabs line up straight. Take your time here, no rush. And once all the tabs line up, the next step of course to put the screws back in. So when you do the screws, make sure you take your time and then uh, attach all the screws. Don't make it too tight and then we'll put it all back together. So uh, here we're looking at the front bumper. Obviously we put the grill back on now so you can see what it looks like. Perfect fitment. Um, this customer has asked us also to pull off the front plastic pieces, which, you know, uh, that's a separate job. But since we got the bumper off, we're going to be replacing it with uh, the carbon fiber trims. Uh, this is another item we offer if you guys are interested. But it's a good time to replace it when you got the bumper off. So there's the mesh grill installed. This side we're doing the test fitment for the carbon fiber piece. Uh, once these two are finished, we're going to put the bumper back on the car. And then uh, this section of the modifications will be complete.